Hello everyone. I'm glad you're here. Um, this is my second video for Perspectives of Pouring. I believe Sheldon is after me. I think that's how the lineup is. Um, so anyway, what I planned on doing today was um, a double bloom and I'm going to kind of deconstruct it. And um, I wanted to tell you about my pillow paint. I'm using a new pillow paint um, from Walmart and it's called Studio Color. And I've mentioned this in a few of my other videos as well. Um, but I'm not sure who's seen or heard, you know, anything about it. And basically it's, it's made by Rust-Oleum, but it does basically take the place of like the color place paint that they used to carry. Um, I like it. It's really easy to work with and it dries really nice. So the color I'm using, um, on this one is Ballet Slipper. And, um, and it's fairly inexpensive. So I'm going to go, um, over my colors as I go. And I know I've missed a few, but, um, that one right there, I'll re go over the ones that I hadn't gotten to yet, but, um, just to carry on that one right there is a, um, champagne color shift, which, um, color shifts to purple, pink, and red and that color was watermelon I believe or no I think that was Baku red by eye candy and that is a peach that I made with vermilion and a drop of iridescent orange by Pebeo. And that color there, I think it was blue velvet. And that one there is, um, it's an eye candy red, and I can't remember the name of that one. That is a very light pink which is water no this one here is watermelon from eye candy the pink one uh, it'll pop in my head i'm sorry guys <laughs> i have been having all these written down before i record and uh I forgot to do that for this one but that is my cell activator um Amsterdam Expert Series Permanent Red Violet. I'm sorry if you're hearing all the noise that I'm making back here. I'm making a cup of coffee. And yeah, as you see, I'm blowing my petals out slowly so that I have a little bit more control um, about where they go and how far I want them blown out because I don't want to blow them all the way to the edge of the canvas. I want them to have time to flow on their own as I spin it out. Looking good so far. And here's our second one. And that is Blue Velvet. That one there is Ama A Amadori Blue. And that is an eye candy ultra shift color. That color there is eye candy chartreuse mixed with TLP blue eyes. That 
that right there is just a really pretty light pink. And that is the champagne. That is Baku Red Eye Candy. And this one here is the Amadori Blue from Eye Candy. And that is, again, their Ultra Shift. And it shifts from like teal to purple to green to blue. It's got amazing colors in it. That was my, um, let's see, that one here is another red by Eye Candy. The one underneath that was watermelon, I believe. And that is an eye candy as well. I'll have all the exact um, names in the description for you. This is the peach that I made. Pebio Iridescent Orange and Venetian Rose by Amsterdam. And then my red violet. Again, it's Amsterdam Expert Series. And that is what I'm using for my cell activator. I really do like the way these colors look together. I pick out, I found a palette that I liked on um, Pinterest and followed that palette. I wish, I do wish though that the end result of this didn't have as much blue as it ends up having, but I think it still turned out good. But you can be the judge of that. And I like the watercolor look when I'm blowing out. I think I end up putting like, yeah, I did one right here. <laughs> So now I'm just stretching them out a little bit to kind of see where everything wants to go and what the paint wants to do. And I wanted to get that one side over there anchored if I could. And then bring all the paint back to the middle. And walk it down. And then I was going to give it a spin after I got it kind of in the general place I wanted it to be. That little one on the corner there didn't end up making much difference after it being spun out and everything. But I put it there. I felt like it needed like a little bit more. I wasn't sure how the paints were going to flow. Just kind of contemplating over what my next move is going to be. Pause you guys there for something. Spin. 
now I'm starting at this point I, I was really starting to like the way it looked a little bit more so I make some small adjustments I don't do too much with my stick but just a few little things to ho that hopefully you know make a difference in the way the petals are going to look in the middle in there looks gorgeous I got some peacock cells in there and so I kind of really didn't want to do anything and mess those up And that's kind of um, the composition that it is like right now is kind of how I wanted it. I wanted like one big bloom and then have one coming off the side. For some reason to me, I like that look. I guess to me, it looks a little bit more organic instead of everything looking exactly the same. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. The shine in this thing and sparkle is so beautiful. And now I'm pretty much just spinning to get the... Uh, Excess paint off, make sure I have enough paint off because I definitely didn't want this to crack. Okay. The only thing I wish I would have done is blown that real big, the, the that bloom that I just was checking the paint with, that big blue petal. I wish I would have blown that off the edge. I don't know. Well, I think it would look better that way. But I'm thinking I'm liking it. Check the paint again. Looks like I have a pretty good amount of paint off of there. And I shouldn't have to spin anymore. Oh, looks like I got to spin just a little bit more. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think about these colors together? I thought they were beautiful. But like I said, just a little too much of the dark blue velvet. But besides that, let me know what you think about it. And there she is with all the glary lights. See all them pretty shell I'm um, not shells. See all them pretty cells in there. And I like how that looks at the top there as well. Really pretty, I think. And here was the half one. So, there she is, guys. Let me know what you think about it. There she is off. It should be turned the other way around, but i just taken it off. And this is um, that painting dry. Thanks for 